Hello again everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am McSnazzy and here we are in Timber Gorge once again today for episode 17. And today we're going to be starting part one of the African area. And so the first phase of the African area is going to be our the sort of African savanna is what I'm going to call it. So really it's going to be just the big wide open area full of all the animals, the savanna. Um, we're not going to put any lions and uh, hippos and stuff like that in this area, but we are going to try to fit all of the uh, big like giraffes, zebras, everything that kind of grazes in the savanna peacefully, we can put them all in one exhibit. And that's sort of the thing you see on the left side right now, the big pit I've made. Uh, if you've seen through all the cuts that I'm doing, I'm going to do another big cut here because this is a lot of stuff in this video, but basically the general idea is we're gonna kind of have this walk through where you walk through the savanna on one side close to the river here that you're seeing right now we're going to have the rhinos and you'll look out and see those and we do the rhinos in this video and then on the other side we are going to do the big savanna area with the giraffes the zebras the gazelles and all sorts of cool uh, African animals so yeah we're gonna finally start the African area um, the last uh, few episodes we kind of get bogged down in the Arctic and North American area. We've been making a bunch of those videos uh, the past like five have all been those so it's time to switch it up. Time to jump into the African area. I've had a lot of ideas ever since I started this zoo on what I wanted to do for the African area and now that we're finally here we're kind of uh, moving into this and I'm putting all the ideas down and some are working some aren't so it's it's a learning process I'm doing it as I go and like this building you're seeing on the screen right now I built this building maybe about three different times and this is the final iteration here and this is sort of gonna be our events pavilion sort of a little uh, pavilion that you know people can rent out for parties um, like a birthday party like the kids can rent it out and we built a little patio out right here so you can see like a nice cool view of the rhinos uh, while you're sort of uh, having your birthday and it's pretty cool you know I think it's a good way for zoos to make money I think this is a very realistic thing I think zoos have this um, you know anyone can rent these sort of like little event centers out and they'll have educational things inside but we don't necessarily flesh it out in this video so let's make it clear that None of this stuff is necessarily finished right now. It's all sort of part one of the part two part, maybe three part um, savanna safari sort of area. So the start of our African area here. And I didn't get to really touch up every single thing that we see in this video because it is a part one and there's still a lot more to do, a lot more to finish up. And we also got to do the other side with all the giraffes and zebras and all that. So we only get this side done today, but we really kind of lay out everything, which is really what I wanted to do. Get it down on paper. Once it's down in the zoo, we can deal with it and uh, go from there. And it's a lot easier to create from there and make the video flow a little better. So in this first part here, we're just building a couple buildings. We're going to do the rhinos, do some path work. But there are a lot of cuts because there's a lot of busy work that I had to do and a lot of like conceptualization that I had to do in order to uh, come up with this sort of a safari savanna idea and get everything to flow smoothly. So it's still a work in process, but uh, a lot of it looks good. Like. Um, what you're gonna see right now is we're gonna build this little patio area. This is definitely finished. This looks great I, I really like how it looks so we'll, we'll take a gander in first person um, at the end when we see All the stuff that we did because we do cut through a lot of some of the repetitive busy work that I do off-camera usually uh, Sometimes I put it on camera so you can see the process, but in this it would, the video would just be way too long so my ideas going forward with the African area is uh, sort of the back of this event center, that little like pit you see behind here. We're going to have a staff area um, with some like hard shelter for some of the animals that are going to be in that big savanna uh, with the giraffes and zebra and everything. Uh, at night they're going to have to separate the animals and they're all going to have different places to sleep because there's so many different species 
in this one habitat. So it's gonna it's gonna be a fun thing to do, a challenge thing, something we haven't done on the channel before, where we've uh, had multiple species exhibits other than the bison and pronghorn one. That one worked just fine, but it was really only two pretty similar species. They're gonna be in this big savanna area. It's gonna be giraffes, zebras, gazelles. We might even add wildebeest into there. Just a lot of different animals that aren't necessarily have the same needs like the giraffe shelter is going to need to be really really tall while the zebra shelter really doesn't need to be so that's sort of the idea here and we're going to work it out um here i wanted to build these little like i don't know what to call them necessarily these little like huts i would say with the round tops when I'm looking at a bunch of zoos, like African areas, like their safari areas to get inspiration for this project, um, I see a lot of these. There's a lot of these like wooded or covered huts with this like thatch covering that you see here. And it kind of just looks like this and they do like these little, I guess they're umbrellas over these lookout areas just because uh, in these areas it's really wide open not a lot of tree cover and not a lot of shade for the guests so I think that's why they do it it also kind of fits in with the whole African theme really well so I think that helps too I'm not sure if I necessarily like these um, sort of umbrellas right now how they look I might go in here and change it around a little bit because they're still kind of bare even in the end here so I mean this is just the part one like I said before so there is room for us to go back and change uh, some of this stuff and touch up on it but so those might be subject to change just saying that now uh, that they're not necessarily here to stay and we're gonna put a little bit of education area in here and you know just for the rhinos i didn't know what i was going to put in at the time that's why it's still a pit we're going to change that soon once we put the rhinos in we're going to rise it up and uh etc but right now we're going to do these little uh yeah these little planter areas to sort of break up the path and i cut these out because it's just me going around doing that but i'll show you how i do this one a little bit you know fill it in with the dirt um and then we put some you know, sort of uh, trees in here, sort of African grasses too. I wanted to make it look themed, like the African theme, but still be kind of realistic, um, not super over the top, something that's still pretty, you know, basic and would be pretty cheap for the zoo to do, etc. And we're gonna do it with the other big planter behind here too. I'm gonna cut through all that and I'll just show you the finished product. Um, in a second. Yeah, so here's the finished product for that one. And that one's always a lot larger, took a lot more time, but I wish we could use the terrain paint for different biomes. Uh, this zoo is set in the tundra biome or alpine biome? Taiga? Yeah, it's taiga. The taiga biome. And I wish we could use terrain paints from like the savanna African biome because that would make this look a lot more realistic and a lot more helpful uh, to do this. But here we're going to lift this pit back up. I was just kind of outlining. Uh, I didn't know what animal I would put there. I was thinking hippos at the beginning a little, but then I thought rhinos would be cool um, because I realized they had rhinos. I didn't think they had rhinos in the game, um, and they don't have African rhinos, but they have these Indian rhinos. So yes, we have Indian rhinos in the African area, but I think they look similar enough that it works, and if we ever get African rhinos in the game, I'll, I'll switch them out. But for now, they're just the Indian rhino, but I think it, it does what it uh, is set out to do for our purposes of Timber Gorge. But I wanted to raise the uh, the f uh, the terrain up to like the sort of terrain that you're looking at them at. So it looks like you're on the same level even though there's a big pit between both of you and the rhino when you're looking at them. So it is safe, but uh, all the zoos I've been to with the rhino exhibit, it's kind of set up like this where you're kind of on the same level, um, but there's that big pit between you, so it's still safe. I think it's a good idea because, you know, grasslands, uh, rhinos live in grasslands, they like wide open areas. They don't want to necessarily be confined down in like a little valley and have you guys look, have guests looking down on them. So I think that's a pretty reasonable thing to do. Probably a realistic aspect too. But here we're going to build a little food area up on top of this hill next to everything, sort of at the start of this African area. And I kind of... Um, sort of etched this out probably like seven episodes back that hey I'm gonna make a food area right here because it's right by the reptile house and we're gonna start the African area right here so I've, I've had this laid out for a while but I have not really got back to it so now we're gonna get back to it we're gonna make this building 
Uh, for the building, I was going for a sort of sandstone kind of temple-y vibe. So it's a little cleaner, but then we add some sort of African theme stuff at the end because I think that's sort of a, you know, like a bizarre sort of feel. Like a, a bazaar, not like the word bazaar, but like the building or the marketplace, like a bazaar. So that sort of feel where you have these like, you know, cleaner sort of sandstone buildings, but then they put all this stuff on top of it all in order to make it look a little more like a marketplace or something. So that's sort of the vibe I was going for. Not sure if I'm super duper happy with it. It might subject to change in part two of this uh, build in next episode next week. So uh, if you like it a lot, it may change. Just warning you now. But we're going to cut through a lot of it here. I think we just uh, cut to the end in a second. And uh, we really just show a lot of the rhino exhibit from here on out until we get to the the uh, real first person walk around. Um, and that's sort of the video up to here. If you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see in the African area, put it down in the comments below and I'll uh, see if I can put it in. Uh, if everyone's sort of all gung-ho to having hippopotamuses or lions sort of in this uh, little quad here, then we can we can surely do it. It's, we're going to have to move some stuff around, but it can happen. But for the savannah little like area like plains area i want to keep it to just like zebras and giraffes and all that because that's what really works so i don't really have any plans to do a safari ride necessarily but if a lot of people in the comments want to see a safari ride i can surely do it um i don't think it's super realistic so i'm not really going for it necessarily in this zoo and i don't know if we have enough space left um because the game is already kind of getting a little framey uh at this point we're at episode 17 now i believe and it's it's starting to bog down a little it's getting a little harder to build uh it, it takes more time because when i'm in there doing stuff it's it's a lot lower frames than what you see in the time lapse because the time lapse all sped up so just something to uh take into consideration here while we finish up this park the plans for the rest of the zoo is finish up this African area. I think I want to go back to the Arctic area, add the polar bears, and then a few more Asian animals, and then I think it's done. Um, I really want to get around to doing maybe a primate area with the gorillas and uh, monkeys, chimpanzees, lemurs, and stuff. I think that would be super cool to have like an ape house area, and that'll probably be in this African area, I would think. But we'll we'll see how framey it gets and how bogged down it gets, and uh, we'll try and cap off this zoo once we have everything that I want in, um, and then we can move on to the next zoo project. Uh, I have an idea of where we're gonna move next, but we still have a lot of stuff to do in this zoo. I'm thinking uh, probably 30 episodes is the the cutoff here if even we might even finish it before them because we've already done a lot so far uh and this is episode 17 so you know if it's shorter than that it's shorter than that but i'm gonna try to get a nice clean product done so i can get this looking really nice we can put it on the workshop so that you guys can go in it and you know see it uh on your computer firsthand and that's really the goal here so we're going to put this uh, this mud fence around, just simple uh, mud fence around the whole side just so the guests don't jump in. I think it looks nice and just, just really, really simple and I think it looks good. But just putting the finishing touches of foliage here and we'll jump into the first person walk around which is relatively short and we'll close out this video. So thanks for sticking around this long and we'll jump in the first person here in a second. So here we are in first person here. Uh, here's a little sign I did off camera. Not sure if I'm super happy with it. May subject to change due to it in the second part. But here's this little uh, eating area. Not finished necessarily with all the uh, details, but the building might, might stay. It's looking pretty good, but I'm really happy with uh, these planters in this path. The path took me a while to do because making a big sort of 
path area look organic in this game is hard because the path system is just kind of all wonky. But I really like how it turns out. I think these planters look really nice. They kind of cut up the path. They make it look a lot more natural and, uh, you know, well thought out and everything. A lot more organic. I really like it. Uh, front of this event center, not necessarily done yet. Still more detail, but I'm probably not going to do an interior. But over here in this patio, this is done. This looks really cool. Sort of like an area you can go out to for a birthday party or some sort of event and you get a nice view of the rhinos as you can see here. So that was really the goal for that. Really happy how that turned out. And then here's these little umbrella gondolas also have uh, a nice view of the rhinos as well. But um, still not necessarily finished. Still a lot of detail work to do there but I really like how the rhinos turned out. I think their exhibit looks really nice. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be the end of this part one. Um, stay tuned on the channel next week for part two of this, where we finish up a lot of the details and we put uh, the zebras and giraffes into the other part of the savannah area. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Stay tuned on the channel for my weekly uploads. And uh, thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you next time.